One day, Confucius was traveling with his disciples to another country, and he and his disciples were very tired from the journey. The weather was hot, so Confucius decided to take a rest before continuing on their journey. Confucius instructed his disciples to go and find water, and he himself closed his eyes to meditate under a large tree. Other people also found places to sit or lie down, and after a while, many people fell asleep. Even the person responsible for the horses and carriages tied up the horses and went to rest. However, one horse broke loose from its reins and ran into the nearby fields, trampling a large area of crops belonging to a farmer. The farmer saw what had happened and was angry, so he grabbed Confucius' horse and wouldn't let go. He wanted to punish Confucius and his group for what had happened. Zigong, one of Confucius' favorite disciples, volunteered to go and negotiate with the farmer. He went to the farmer and said, You don't know, this horse belongs to Master Confucius who is a famous sage. Please, in consideration of his reputation, return the horse to us. The farmer snorted, How? A sage should respect others and not harm their interests. What use is a sage if they don't? The farmer was still not willing to release the horse, and Zigun, getting a bit angry, raised his voice and said, what do you want? Do you want Master Confucius himself to come and plead for the horse? The farmer became even angrier and ignored Zigong, going back to work in the fields. Zigong had no choice but to return to Confucius, spreading his hands in frustration. One of Confucius' disciples, who usually appeared to be quite ordinary, saw the situation and said, I'll try. This student went to the farmer, first paid his respects, and then went into the fields to help the farmer with his work, chatting with him as they worked. The student said to the farmer, I'm really sorry that our horse trampled your hardworking crops. I apologize, but this way we've become friends. Originally, we lived in two very distant places, but now we've met. After hearing this, the man stopped being angry and returned the horse to him. So people say, it's not about how knowledgeable you are, what's important is to be sensible and move people's hearts. This story reminds us of the importance of empathy and understanding in our interactions with others. By being kind, respectful, and considering others' perspectives, we can effectively resolve conflicts and maintain positive relationships. So, let's take a lesson from this story and strive to be like the wise student who moved the farmer's heart. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. We appreciate your support and can't wait to bring you more great content. Until next time, take care and have a great day.